In this video, I'm going to show you how you can very simply fix your security vulnerabilities in the front end of your DAB using the npm audit command. When you develop a JavaScript application, very often you will install some dependencies. And oftentimes there are some security vulnerabilities that are discovered in those dependencies. NPM has a built-in mechanism for telling you when you are using a dependency which has been affected by one of these vulnerabilities. All you have to do is to run the npm audit command in your repo. So we're going to use an example DAP project to show you how it works. At the root of my project, I'm going to run the npm audit command. And it has found three dependencies that pose problems. For each of them, you will see a report with the name of the dependency, the severity of the vulnerability, and it will also show you which command you need to run in order to fix this dependency. Basically, you need to update these dependencies. So I could copy paste each of these update commands for all the affected dependencies, but that's a little bit annoying to do this. So instead, I'm going to use some command line magic. So that's the command that I'm going to run. So I know that it looks a little bit complex, so I'm going to explain it. So first I run the npm audit command. After, I'm going to use the pipe operator to pass the output to another command, and this other command is grep. So with grep, I can filter only the line that start with the pound sign and the run command. These are the commands that I need to run in order to update my dependencies. And finally, I need to get rid of the pound sign at the beginning of the line. So that's why I pipe this to another command, which is called cut, and which allow you to select a subset of a line. If that still sounds confusing to you, you can check out this website, which allow you to make sense of complex command line comments. All right, so I'm going to run my command, and it's going to output the two npm update command that I need to run in order to fix my project. So it doesn't actually run these comments, so you need to manually copy paste them. If you wanted, you could do a more complex script that actually also run them, but it's more safe to first see what are the commands that are to be run and you manually decide to run them or not. So let's copy them and let's run them. All right, so my dependencies have been updated. So now if I run npm audit again, then it shouldn't find any vulnerability this time. And my project has been fixed, awesome. So you can not only use these techniques for your DAVs, but also for any JavaScript or any Node.js project, it will also work. So you could connect this into your continuous integration pipeline if you have one. Or you could run this command before each deployment so during your development process then you don't run npm audit all the time because otherwise that could be a little bit tedious to constantly have to fix your project but just before each deployment at least you need to make sure that npm audit does not show you any vulnerabilities and one last thing i like to tell you is that it's not because this command does not show you any vulnerabilities that your project doesn't have any bug it will only show you security vulnerabilities of some of your dependencies if they have been reported. But maybe that some vulnerabilities have not been reported, or maybe that you created some vulnerabilities in your own code, and in this case, of course, npm audit cannot help you. In any case, it's pretty handy command, and it's quite easy to use, so I recommend you to use it. Thanks for watching, and see you for the next video.